this week, I have a stream of people showing up to haul away our gravel. Sometimes at this place, I have a hard time with change. Like even though I know that I want the gravel to be gone and I know that I want to put a garden here, watching it go, I'm kind of like, did I make the right choice? Should we be getting rid of this gravel or should I have found a different solution? But I know, I know I need to get rid of the gravel. My goal was to have it gone by Friday. I don't know, maybe we could do it. So I dug a hole in the gravel to see exactly what we're dealing with. And here's what I found. That's the surface of the gravel. And then this is the layer of landscape fabric underneath. But then under the landscape fabric, these are morning glory roots. And you can see the morning glory coming in under the landscape fabric, but then it's puncturing it in places and coming up through the gravel. So that's really fun. And here is really good evidence of why landscape fabric doesn't really stop weeds. And the rocks are about six inches deep. Six inches of rock over landscape fabric with morning glory underneath. So I really don't know what to do about that. This is going to be quite the nightmare to remove not sure how we're going to tackle that. Good morning! It is a fantastic Monday because in about an hour, someone off Facebook Marketplace is going to come take all this gravel away. So take one last look. But before he comes, I need to get as many weeds out as I can so that he can take most of the gravel and not leave a bunch behind. So it's 5 to 9 now. He's showing up at 10, so I need to get to work.
Hey guys, it's Laura from the future. I was going through the footage and I realized that I never properly explained what's going on this week. So behind me, there's this patch of gravel. This area is six to eight inches of pea gravel, which is like that type of gravel you find on kids' playgrounds over top of a synthetic landscape fabric. And the problem with that is that if I plant any trees or any shrubs in this area, I'm gonna have to make sure I dig down through the fabric or the roots will get caught. And I just don't wanna deal with that. I'd like it gone. Um, the other thing that's a problem is that soil life can't really migrate like up and down through the layers when you have a landscape fabric in there. So overall, it's just not a great thing to have in your garden when you're trying to do um, ecological gardening. So that's why we're getting rid of it. We debated for a really long time what to do with it. For a while, we thought about digging it up completely, and then we changed our mind and thought, we'll just put soil over it and start on top of it, and then we discovered there was landscape fabric at the bottom, and we realized we needed to pull that out. So then the plan for a while was to move the rocks, pull out the landscape fabric, put the rocks back, and then put soil on top of it. But then we realized that maybe the gravel would migrate up through the soil. It was a whole thing. Anyway, in the end, I decided to put it up on Facebook Marketplace, see if anybody wanted the gravel, and it turns out that a lot of people want the gravel. So this week, I have basically a stream of people showing up to haul away our gravel and expose the landscape fabric so that I can pull that up and then fill the area with soil, seed it with an alternative lawn mix and um, build my raised garden beds in this area and also plant, oh where is it, this, this fence, plant some uh, trees and shrubs along this fence which is the north fence to essentially create a sun trap for the veggie garden in our backyard. And as I'm filming this, Sully is laying down beside me because he just wants the pets. Don't you, buddy? <laughs> Hi, Sully. Oh, You just want all the love. You just want all the love. So that's what's going on. I hope that clears up what's happening in this video because looking through the footage, it's a little bit confusing even to me and I was here. So anyway, I'll see you again very shortly. So we took out a good eight wheelbarrow loads of gravel and you can't even tell the difference. Let me show you. Can you even tell that anything has changed? Cause I can't. So there's so much gravel that even by taking away a whole pickup truck load, it looks like we didn't do anything. So I've put it back up on Facebook Marketplace. I've also put it up in my Buy Nothing group. And uh, let's see if anybody else wants some gravel. Sully is very tired from all those zoomies he did earlier. Are you sleepy dog? So it's the next day and someone else came by and picked up two more pickup truck loads of gravel. And um, it still looks completely the same. I mean, I guess there's a little bit more of a dip, but there's easily six to eight more loads of gravel left here. So hopefully I can find more people to come take it. I take it back. I guess from this angle, you can tell that the gravel is slowly decreasing. I just can't believe how much gravel is here. But also like, man, I can't help but think this was a really expensive patch of gravel to install. It's like 200 square feet, six to eight inches deep over landscape fabric. And they would have had to excavate out the soil that was here before. So like that's commitment to a gravel patch. Oh yeah, and before you ask, the reason it's here is they had a doghouse and a trampoline in this corner. And when we moved in, it was all covered in garbage and blackberries and pieces of concrete. And so we didn't even know how big the gravel actually was. My goal was to have it gone by Friday, and it's only Tuesday, so there's three days left. We've already given away three pickup truck loads. I don't know, maybe we could do it. So it is Wednesday, which is T minus two days from when I wanted all this gravel gone. We've had, I think, six people come and take some now, and I have two more people on their way today. And um, it's looking like there's a little bit less. You tell me, does it look like less? I think it's looking like a little bit more of a, a dip here. Like there's definitely gravel missing from this section and this section. And Sully is just being absolutely ridiculous.
that last lady was so nice. Not only did she take more of my gravel, but she brought me canned tomatoes. All right, it's Friday and it's go time because I have a guy coming either this afternoon or Sunday who wants a whole trailer load. So I have to get the rest of the weeds out. And if you're wondering like, why am I pulling out the weeds when people are coming to shovel the gravel for free? It's because I noticed that when I don't pull out the weeds, people avoid those areas with the weeds and they take less gravel. And I really want them to take all the gravel. So I need to take out all the weeds. Okay, change of plans. The guy with the trailer is coming like right now. So yeah. All right, I had to really hustle at the end there because Whew, the guy decided to come earlier, but I've got all the weeds out, I moved all the compost, moved all the uh, garbage, cut back the blackberries, and hopefully, because he has a trailer, he'll take everything that's left. Let's hope. So funny story. It is Sunday, and we obviously didn't make our deadline of Friday to get rid of the gravel. Because... Remember how I was like panic weeding because that guy was showing up at the trailer and said that he wanted the rest of the gravel? Yeah, he just ghosted me. Like he just never showed up. He said he was on his way. I panic weeded for him and then he never showed up. So that's fun. Um, typical Facebook marketplace. I shouldn't be surprised, but I am every time someone ghosts me. But it's okay because we had two more people show up today and take a lot more of the gravel. And uh, let me show you where it's at. So surprisingly, we're actually at a point now where you can see the landscape fabric here. See? Look at that. Wow. There used to be six inches of gravel and now it's just, just that little bit. I think we might actually be at a point where I could just pull out the fabric, rake the gravel smooth and put soil over top. So anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this week because I need to decide whether I'm getting rid of any more gravel or not. I'll see you next week when we're going to pull out the landscape fabric. Bye.